Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, 26th of July, 2013. The big energy services company Halliburton has uh, pled guilty to destroying evidence in connection with the 2010 Macondo British Petroleum Gulf oil spill. Uh, they're paying the maximum fine, which in this case is $200,000. They've accepted a three-year uh, probation, and they're also making a $55 million contribution to the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Uh, the company, actually, their uh, their crime was was not uh, particularly onerous, although they did destroy evidence. Uh, Halliburton had recommended to BP before the blowout that the uh, oil company should use 21 centralizers. Centralizers are uh, a sort of uh, casing that goes around the well bore. Uh, to better sustain it uh, after the concrete pour is made, which actually contains the well bore as it goes into the seabed. Uh, British Petroleum uh, decided to disregard British uh, Halliburton's recommendation and instead of using 21 centralizers, only use six. Halliburton, uh, as a matter of prudence, after BP used the six centralizers instead of the 21, conducted an internal review to see how the use of six compared with the recommended 21 the result of the review was that there was no difference. Uh, however, Halliburton then ordered that study destroyed. That was the crime here. The little bit of a, a murky situation because it doesn't seem to have had any reason at all to do with the actual uh, spill itself. Meanwhile, the situation in Spain is really heating up it, uh, as a result of that train crash the other day in which now 79 people are confirmed dead. Uh, the engineer of the train is in custody. He apparently had uh, boasted on his Facebook uh, page last year that his train travels so fast that he's in danger of getting a fine. His name has been released. His name is Francisco Jose Garzon Amo. Um, it seems, and if you've seen the video of the uh, train crash, which was captured by a security camera, it seems that the train was moving very fast. Uh, when Mr. Ammo was uh, dragged out of the train after uh, the crash, he uh, indicated to investigators that uh, the train had taken that turn at 114 miles per hour. The speed limit for that turn is 48 miles per hour. Uh, he said upon being dragged from the wreckage, I hope no one died because it will weigh on my conscience. Uh, the National Transportation Safety Board is saying that that Southwest Airlines jet that uh, plopped down at LaGuardia Airport on Monday, closing the airport, actually uh, landed on its nose wheel, which is a no-no for commercial jet aviation. Uh, the uh, angle of attack that the plane hit the runway on actually had it pitched somewhat down. So as a result, the main landing gear under the plane, which are much stronger than the nose wheel, um, did not touch down until second. This could explain why the nose wheel then penetrated the fuselage and uh, wrecked the plane's avionics and dashboard because it pumped down first and it's not supposed to. Meanwhile, Aon, the big broker, has seen orga organic growth slowing now in the second quarter in their reinsurance unit. This is, they say, because seedants are retaining higher and higher amounts of uh, of actual uh, coverage on their own end before they go to the reinsurance market. That's a little counterintuitive as reinsurance premium prices continue to drop, but if that's what Aon says, that's what Aon says. Um, their uh, commissions and fees generated by the Risk Solutions Division, which includes reinsurance, were up 2%. A year ago, uh, that growth uh, saw increases of about 4%. Um, Aon's smaller rival Willis earlier this week reported organic growth uh, reflecting about 6.3 percent. In Egypt, the situation becomes curiouser and curiouser. Today, of course, being Friday, is a day of uh, uh, competing uh, demonstrations. The Army Chief of Staff has asked everyone to come out to the streets to protest against militants. The militants uh, he's referring to, of course, are the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood, up until two months ago, was the elected government of Egypt. Uh, represented by the president at that time, Mohamed Morsi. Mohamed Morsi is now under detention by the government. He's being accused of uh, conspiring with the terrorist group Hamas during a, the 2011 revolution. Apparently, he worked with Hamas to organize a prison break. 
This is going to become a real uh, mishmash of accusations back and forth. It's just going to be a question of how many people end up getting killed, unfortunately. Well, insurance fraud is everywhere. It seems also in southern Italy, the mafia in southern Italy stages hundreds of fake automobile crashes every year in order to get millions of dollars of euros in insurance payments to buy drugs and weapons. Uh, police uh, levied charges against 70 people who were arrested before dawn today in the uh, Calabrese area of Italy, down near the toe of the boot. The mob had local insurers, doctors, lawyers, and auto body uh, shops on the payroll to pull off the fraud which earned the gang well over a million euros, $1.3 million a year. Uh, the defrauded insurer was a local branch of Zurich Insurance Group, which operates independently under license from the head office in Switzerland. A comment from Switzerland said, Zurich does not comment on ongoing investigations and legal proceedings. And if you're really interested in uh, an unusual insurance story, you should Google Alex Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez is the third baseman for the Yankees. He paid $28 million a year. So long as he remains on the disabled list, uh, saying that he's injured, the Yankees can get 90% of his salary claim back from insurance. He claims he's ready to play. The Yankees claim he's not ready to play. On top of all this is a pending suspension from Major League Baseball for possibly 150 games. If he's suspended for 150 games, insurance does not cover it and the Yankees have to pay it. So uh, it's a real mishmash there. Fortunately, no one will get killed there. That's the news for today. Have a pleasant weekend and we'll see you on...